The crew of the American Space Shuttle Columbia was killed in February 2003 on re-entry. A sufficiently large fuel tank insulation foam piece had struck the wing and punctured it on liftoff, allowing hot gas on re-entry to penetrate heat shielding. The engineers, a deviant but normal community by 1986, when subcontracting engineers had allowed themselves to be talked into the Challenger liftoff by macho bullshit, think like a manager and not an engineer, and approve the doomed launch of Challenger were, if anything, even more cowed by incompetent, illiterate, power pointy, and innumerate Bush apparatchiks in 2003. In an inverse gambler's fallacy, the 2003 engineers reasoned that, so far, the foam chunks breaking away on liftoff were of insignificantly small size, so it was unlikely that sufficiently large chunks would occur. Of course, in a reciprocal of the way the gambler thinks that sooner or later he'll come up aces, sooner or later the chunks were sufficiently large. Reagan administration pressure on NASA to show prowess had caused Challenger. Bush administration pressure to show dick length after the obvious failure of the Iraq war caused Colombia. As a result, Kalpana Chawla, the first astronaut from India, with a Vedic smile from the morning of the world, was blown into fragments strewn across California, New Mexico, Arizona and Texas. To read more about normalized deviance, see Diane Vaughn's book, The Challenger Launch Decision, Chicago, 1999.
intelligence, knowledge, freedom from doubt and delusion. Think like an artist and not an engineer.